Hey everybody, it is very windy out here. Uh, so <laughs> you can see my hair blowing everywhere. Um, I came out in nature today uh, because the theme for today was working with the elemental fairy. So I was like, oh, I definitely need to be outside. And look at this gorgeous tree behind me giving us all this great energy. And it was uh, nice and sunny outside. I'm gonna show y'all the lake as well. Okay, beautiful. Okay, <laughs> so um, when I went into everybody's uh, energy fields for the collective Akasha experience. Um, the fairies came forward and they told me that today, instead of doing kind of like a shamanic journeying is what I typically do with these, where there's like a whole experience that happens. They told me that they wanted me to just simply sit and listen to the sounds of nature for everybody, right? And so we all opened up our necklaces <laughs> to um, channel in the energy into there. And so I was listening to uh, the birds and the bees and it's very windy today. Um, I can hear the water. Um, the sun was shining on my face and that was great. Uh, so that was helping everybody's, you know, physical bodies with healing. But as I was listening, uh, some fairies came forward and asked if uh, I would follow them. And I said, okay. <laughs> and so I followed them and they ended up going to, I don't know if you've ever seen like fairy gardens that people create with like miniature f furniture and like little mushrooms and things. And so we all together like shrunk down and we're in a fairy garden together. And the fairies were like, we think it's so cute that humans make these for us. <laughs> And I was like, oh, I'm glad that y'all like them. And they said, we really admire humans and how empathetic that they are. Because apparently that's not necessarily a trait of all beings across the cosmos. But humans are particularly empathetic. And they said that one of the reasons is because the challenges that we go through uh, forge that within us. <laughs> okay? uh, so, so they really admired that. And so I went to go back listening to all of the sounds and one of the reasons that they wanted me to do that for everybody today was to give everybody a ear chakra upgrade so that you can better hear the messages that uh, mother Gaia's children if you will not just humans but the plants and the animals and the trees and the birds and, and the sun's not necessarily like her child but <laughs> like father son and like mother moon okay <laughs> Um, but they want you to be able to pick up on the uh, frequency languaging that they are speaking to you. Okay. Um, so that was one of the things that we did today. And then another thing was I had a lot of intrusive thoughts coming up. Um, not necessarily negative, just lots of different things. I think that we all experience that, that it feels like sometimes we don't have control over our mind. That is just spewing up stuff constantly and sometimes that leans really negative and they kept on having me bringing back my perceptual awareness to the sounds of nature and tuning in to what the forest <laughs> was trying to share with everybody and so that was happening in my personal experience but because we're all connected to one another it's going to radiate out into everyone of being able to tune out what doesn't matter and everything matters but but for the context more so of hey what do we really need to be placing our energy and attention on sometimes the medicine that we're trying to seek or the healing or the growth or the expansion is in the silence it's not actually with trying to work things out with our physical mind <laughs> and trying to always find solutions and be super hyper self-aware and all these things. You're like, we just need you to be quiet <laughs> and listen. <laughs> There was a second part to this video, but somehow it disappeared. Okay, so I'm redoing it. So at the end of the healing session, a buffalo came forward. He was so cute, okay, or handsome, and furry, and I put my arms around him. It was just giving him, like, this big hug. And in shamanism, buffaloes are representative of very earthly-based uh, spirits. They're very selfless. Uh, they help us navigate challenges and push forward through them so in this uh, circumstance or not circumstance but this, 
context, uh, the buffalo was saying that's representative of the intrusive thoughts that we have that come up through the day of pushing through those and putting them at bay. And what was so cute was, uh, you know how horses like stomp and do the tippy taps? Uh, he was doing that and he said, tell everybody that when the intrusive thoughts come up that they can think of me uh, doing this and helping get uh, rid of them. <laughs> and so that was very sweet. So I wanted to pass along his message as well.